Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4. Poland Strong! We're fighting the Soviet Union still, we are deliberately dragging out the war, we are also now bringing Turkey in. One thing that just occurred to me, Turkey is now also fighting the Axis, which means there is a way for them to get some war participation and possibly some of this land. We still have the lion's share of it, but I've gone ahead and just told my troops to like be super freaking aggressive and get in here to Ankara. We're gonna try to grab what we can before Bulgaria or anyone else does anything. Turkey's troops, I don't know, they're, they're probably all going to leave the mountains. And that should make my life a little bit easier. I did also change up some templates a little bit. So I think I added in, yeah, I added an anti-tank onto the 20 with infantry because they were just sitting at like 18.8. .8. I could have put in, put in another infantry and that would have been fine. But a little bit of direct uh, anti-tank does increase our piercing value by a lot. So will they be able to take out tanks themselves? Probably not. But against enemy motorized? Sure, that's pretty good. I also created a 40 with combat uh, template. Four infantry and ar artillery, excuse me. Ooh, got the hiccups all of a sudden. Um, so these guys, you know, yeah, they're going to cost a lot more. And yeah, they have very high supply usage, but they've also got significantly higher stats. And ideally, I would like to start transitioning all 20 combat with offensive divisions to being 40 combat whips so that they are better at focusing their fire. At least that is the strategy that you want to employ. You guys get back over here, please. What are you doing? I still need to fight over Sevastopol. Are you sending troops? You are... Deploying your troops desperately to get out of here. Okay. Well, I don't have the uh, navy necessary to protect that, so... Romania, if you want to send some ships out here, I've detected them. Oh, wait, these are Turkey's troops. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead. Leave leave this place. It's fine. We are taking some attrition here, which I am worried about. Believe it or not, it's not the infrastructure that's the problem, though, so I think we're okay on that front. Japan declares war on the Philippines. Ooh, wait, does that mean that they are now fighting the Allies? Because the Philippines is a protectorate of the United States. Or at least it used to be in the good old days, right? <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to focus my way around. Nope. Focus my way around the river. Make sure we get these guys all fully cut off. You guys do something similar here. Uh, we have an upgrade for our modernizing of the cavalry, which gives us actually a 300% research bonus, which I hadn't realized. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, bonus for our armor tech, though, because I know I'm going to want to start working on mediums in just a little bit. In eight days, we will finish up with the 7 TP. I think we'll go ahead and get started immediately on the medium tanks. Um, you guys should be able to handle this on your own. He still doesn't have much. If you can get him one more division in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that should be plenty. All right, you should be able to take out Sevastopol. Um... Yeah, so this is an issue. Technically. Green, I'd like you to go ahead and send a handful of troops. All you guys, probably. Get down here. Turkey can provide supplies to their troops, so they actually could be a pain. Hopefully they're not defending their border. Are you defending your border? Because I, I want to just, I wanna just run in here and stomp. That's what I'm going for. Let's make sure we control uh, the states as we are pushing out, because I want to have the infrastructure being repaired. 7 TP is done. Let's go ahead and immediately get started on the 10 TP medium tank. We have some more troops available. I guess I could send them to do a quick encirclement here. But I'm going to go ahead and let them just continue with the resistance to occupation. Alright, Sevastopol's about to fall apart. So that's good. No longer any issues down there. Romania is quickly redeploying down over here. This does technically give Bulgaria the uh, avenue to get in, which I don't like, but oh well. I mean, we've been fighting the Soviets for so long, no matter what, we are going to have the most war score. Easily. Um, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the light tanks. In fact, I'll go ahead and create a new variant. Um, they don't have a ton of armor to begin with, so I guess what I want to do with you is probably add on some extra attack. Maybe a bit of reliability. Just so I don't have to worry about you. I mean, it's not like I don't have plenty of army experience to go around, right? If we do this, he'll be at 100% reliability, which is pretty nice. Alright, I mean, if we're going to make light tanks, we might as well have some pretty decent light tanks. They're not going to be good for survivability, but they'll be pretty good for just punching through generic infantry lines. Sound good? I think so. Alright, green, get back down over here. Get him. He doesn't have much, so this shouldn't be too hard for you to deal with. Get down over here. Alright, Bulgaria is pushing into Istanbul. 
Uh, we are not encountering much resistance over here in Turkey still. It's mostly just other Soviet troops. So that's fine. I'm going to have some of you guys probably push down this way. A little worried about the amount of attrition we're going to be taking. Holy crap. It is because I just started training up a whole bunch more troops. I'm going to go ahead and say that we want to produce a lot more infantry equipment when we get the factories in. Speaking of infantry equipment, actually. <laughs> I guess we might as well. Alright, we're going to have a huge deficit for a while, but we might as well have the best stuff, right? So we want to go ahead and research the mechanized. We could technically use that research bonus on something else. Am I going to use mechanized? That's the other question. I might. Probably not. Maybe. It's not going to take long. Let's just go ahead and research it. Anti-tanks are going to be upgraded. Perfect. Let's go ahead and research the next upgrade there so we can start producing level 2. Um, you guys are struggling a little bit. Why don't you guys push down here? I do need to have a good front line ready to go against Iran. When that time comes. Alright, that's a pretty good wide front there. You guys push down this way through Yerevan and so on. Should be getting some more encirclements at this point. Um, clean this up. Push through here. Push against his tanks. Let's try to get some more encirclements. Soviets, how you doing? You're potentially down to under 100 divisions. Which is definitely an improvement for me. Okay, you guys are struggling a little bit here in the mountains. Suppose that doesn't surprise me much. We have some planes available. We should probably go ahead and use them. I don't really have much, so I guess I'll just take some fighters. And tell them to do air superiority in Asia Minor and try to contest that a little bit. Just a little bit. Whoop. Okay, I definitely don't like getting cut off. Yeah, Turkey's now fighting back pretty hard. Now, I don't think they count as a major in this war. No. So once the Soviet Union capitulates, Turkey's gone too. Which means we actually don't really have to fight over here at all. We'll try to get a little bit. Mainly, I need you guys to push all the way down through here and get me a border against Iran so that once I call them in, we can quickly win the war there, too. We do need to be setting up to quickly capitulate the Soviet Union. That means I need a bit more uh, victory points. Not too many, just a few. Grab things like this. That should be plenty. Do they have any victory points up over here? They do have some. Not a ton. He sent a couple of you this way. Okay, we'll grab that. Um, you guys are going to push down this way. You guys push up through Ostrakhan. Alright. And then we'll just be able to take Moscow and the war will immediately end. That should be easy enough for me. Questioning the motives of Iran. That's fine. How much longer on you? It's about 40 days, 30 days, 35 days. Shang-Chi has capitulated to the Japanese. That's fine. I'm going to take one of you to grab Baku. Let's go ahead and clear these out. Clear this out. One of you turn around and clear this out. Just because I don't like it. Unnecessary border gore is unnecessary, man. That's the rule of life. Grab all this. Head over here. Alright, uh, can we push it all through this way? Sure looks like it. We should be able to hold this line pretty quickly. Alright, we have more military factories. We actually are producing a pretty good amount of infantry equipment again. Let's go ahead and upgrade you guys. I would like to start producing a bit more bombers, transport planes, more motorized... 
Uh, we can go ahead and start working on some upgraded close air support, I suppose, and that's not a bad idea. Ten days away from getting to upgrade our uh, fighters again. Okay, I need you guys to actually stop this. Don't let him get cut off. Yeah, push through this way. Okay. Len Lee's from the United States again. You're offering me more than ever before. Generous, but I'm telling you, I don't know what to do with it. All right, uh, Dark Blue, your new front line is against Iran, and all of you are going to be assigned there. Teal is just basically going to hold this line and not much else. I'll let you guys finish off whatever Soviets you can get your hands on, but yeah, we're going to start clearing this out. What's going on down here? Vichy France is now pushing through Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting some of that war participation, but it's not much. Germany's got 1%. Italy, Bulgaria, they have 1%. I got 93, though. So, I mean... We're fine, right? I hope we're fine. God, I hope we're fine. Uh, Soviets, how close are you to capitulating? You are 88% of the way. I'll bet you your capital's gonna be worth, like, 10% or something. Victory points down there. Grab them. Grab these. Grab these. Finish them off. Grab all that. You grab this. Push that way. All right. Yeah, we just need to call Iran into the war, and I think it's over. We need to actually get some land from them, though. Because I think if you uh, end the war and you haven't actually taken anything from them, then you don't actually get to take anything in the final deal. Let's go and get started on the next level of fighter. Could start working on, let's say, some strategic bombers and stuff, which isn't a bad idea either. Um, but I think I will... I'm already doing okay on all this. We could upgrade our light tanks again. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade... No, we're not going to upgrade mechanized yet. Um... Do I want to go... You know, maybe I should. Best light tanks? Or is there something else that would have a better advantage right now? I think we probably should go for upgraded bombers and stuff instead. Now, it's the strategic bombers that can drop nukes, right? I think so. So if we are ever going to use nukes, we need to have strategic bombers sitting around and ready to go. Okay, clear these out. Teal, where are all your troops? All of you should be down here. Oh, you're still clearing all this nonsense out. I mean, I guess kind of fair enough. Alright, they're rapid redeploying, which means they have, like, no organization, but whatever, we'll catch up. Can modify the government. Uh, let's go ahead and work on a tank designer. Extra research speed on that armor. More reliability is nice. More military factories. Sweet. We can upgrade my fighters. I don't really see the point. I'm going to start producing more infantry equipment. Lots and lots of it. Because we need to field tons of troops. This is the whole point of the uh, mass assault doctrine. You throw millions upon millions of bodies at the problem. Right? For that to work, I actually need to deploy millions and millions of bodies. Okay, let's clear this out. So I know we have the outdated fighters. I guess we could... Alright, fine. We'll go ahead and start producing something better. Japan declares war on the Dutch East Indies. We have studied foreign tanks. Good. Don't see a point in doing this. Let's start working on air. So I can get some upgrades for things like fighter models. And we'll go for ahead of time 1944 air if we can. Go for a cutoff here. How's the capitulation looking? Very close. All we have to do is take Moscow. All right. So at this point, it is just about getting Iran. If I can rush through Tehran, I would love to. The mountains are a problem. If I could get an offensive line for red down over here to fight on a different angle... 
That would actually make my life easier. I know we got some serious border gore problems right now, but it doesn't matter. The United States joins the United Kingdom. Finally, the USA has joined the Allies. All right, so now they are going to be properly fighting. Okay, all of these guys don't need to be here anymore. I guess Green... ...could assist down here as well. As long as they have the supply to back it up. Okay. Offensive line. Tehran. Let's see if we can get red down here just so we have a flank. Uh, we will be done in four days. I don't see a ton of troops. You're sitting in the mountains, but aside from that, not a big deal. Turkey capitulates. Cool, we get some equipment. Bulgaria got a lot of that land, but it doesn't matter in the peace deal. Not really, anyway. Finish them off. More factories. Um... More support equipment, more anti-tank. Do not need this much tungsten anymore. Do, however, still need a lot of rubber. Justification is done. Sweet. Declare the war. Join common turn. They did. Now we push. I just need to get a little bit from you. I don't need much. Just a bit. Everything we got, throw at him. Okay. We're almost ready to end this. So far, not making any headway, though. I say that. We got a little headway down here. If you can get to Tehran, freaking do it. In fact, actually, hang on. If you can get a quick encirclement, I say freaking do it. This is where I wish I had motorized, because we could actually take advantage of this pretty quickly. You try getting to Tehran. I just want to make sure we have enough war participation with uh, Iran that they have to uh, fall in the peace deal. That's all I'm trying to make sure happens. Alright, 1941, all these upgrades are nice and all. Don't see a point in researching any naval doctrine. Could work on rocket artillery. Not sure we're going to go in and uh, do that. Um, support equipment. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and research and upgrade to our mechanized. I know it's ahead of time, but let's do it anyway. Okay, we are actually starting to pierce through after all. We're going to get to Breitz. He's trying to stop me from surrounding him. Doesn't look like that's going to work, though. Come on. We're going to get an encirclement on everything you got, man. Turn up over here. All right, that's a full encirclement against Iran. Their organization is going to be quite low. Get to Tehran. We'll pitch that one has 20% or less. I think we at this point could actually just end it. What are you guys doing? I just want to make sure we get at least one victory point with Tabritz, for example. I don't want to risk this failing, you know what I mean? We waited too long to actually make this work. I have to actually get a return on investment. Push him back. Don't let him join up. Closer. Closer. Some of you guys can go around, you know. Almost got it. Almost got it. We're taking attrition, but whatever. Alright. Capital down. Now I think we end it. This should work. Take Moscow. That should be the capitulation of the Soviet Union in the end of the war. Yep. Boom. And Iran is available for the conquest. Sweet! Alright, I got a lot of points compared to literally everybody else. Um, I would love to take things like Istanbul and make sure that I get this. Costs a lot of points. I'm aware, but it's still good. Now let's go ahead and expand our borders. And one thing I do not want... ...is let's say the Germans puppeting Iran or anything. That would be very irritating. 
Make sure I grab all this. I'm going to go grab things like Moscow. Got a good number of points. A lot of it's going to get sacrificed trying to take some of Turkey, but I think it's okay. Also need to make sure that I take things like the oil. So Azerbaijan, for example, very important. Also the steel. Okay, that's good for now. Can't quite do that. Can't quite join up my land here either. All right, end turn. The Germans are trying to take some. What do you mean I only have... Pass. Pass. Making sure that I get Turkey. Okay, Italy's trying to get... No, who is this? This is, this is Turkey as a puppet, okay? Pass, pass... Pass. There's border gore happening here, but it's all right. Let's get down here and take the oil. So it looks like Turkey is actually going to be a subject of Bulgaria, which I find amusing. All right, now we want to take as much as we can out of the Soviets. I more or less got the resources I need with one exception against the Germans. So they'll have some chromium, but it won't be too hard for me to take that from them in the future. All right, we'll eat Iran. Eat all of this. Working my way over here next. Okay, that's too much. Um... Pass. Take all states. That's it. All right. There we go. Look at the Commonwealth. Boom. Russia down. Iran down. Little bit of Turkey remaining. Italy took some land, the Turkish Empire. But again, we can handle that. We can eat that easily enough. The important thing is I got the majority of the resources. We have plenty of chromium we are sitting on now. Do not need to be trading for any more of the tungsten or rubber. Just occurred to me we didn't get to call in Sweden. They haven't been guaranteed yet. I guess we'll let this finish. I don't think we're going to get it, but that's fine. That was a nice to have at the best. All right, now we've got a load more factories to work with. Uh, time to upgrade our anti-tank. Probably should start producing some mechanized. We'll see if we end up using it at all. I still don't have access to things like the medium tanks. So for now, I'm going to throw probably about everything I've got into infantry equipment. Because I don't feel bad pulling my factories off of that later if we want to. In the meantime, let's freaking get our guns up and running because I need to have as many new troops as we can. Got a lot in training right now. Actually do need some more support equipment too. Ah, we'll go for that. How are we doing in terms of construction? Uh, nothing else should be getting sabotaged from here on out. So we can continue focusing on just building up factories. Wherever we have any good infrastructure. Which apparently is not a lot of places. Russia didn't have the best of infrastructure, did they? They got some up here, at least. Alright. We will need to be building up heavily on defenses. Against the German Reich. That is a definite. Alright. Whole load more factories to add on. Yeah, yeah, this seems fine. Okay. And we got a pretty good amount of civilian factories out of all this, too. Alright. Are we going to be trading off any of our excess resources? Because I would love to get some free civilian factories via trade. That'd be awesome. We have a border with the British Raj. I don't even use. Uh, I don't even need to use any more um, convoys to get rubber from them. So we don't have to worry about Japan at all. Expeditionary forces are being called back. That's fine. We have 800 convoys. We should have stolen a ton of equipment. 
Oh, yeah, we've caught back up on uh, infantry equipment. That's good. Okay. Sweet. So we're training up a full another 24 divisions. Whole new defensive armies. Pretty rapidly at this point. So what to do with the rest of you? Are there any other wars we want to do in the meantime? I guess we could finish off the remainders of Comintern. For example, Mongolia technically exists. I could eat that. And I don't think it's very likely that the Allies would want to defend them. Two hundred and seventy days is a long time, though. Let's see what happens with Sweden. Maybe I'll be able to take over Sweden. Maybe nobody joins up with Sweden. That really would be awesome if they didn't. Because I'd love to just eat all their resources, or at least maybe release them as another independent nation in the faction. How's the faction looking, by the way? Pretty strong. Of course, almost all of it is me, so it doesn't actually mean anything. But still... We could go fight the Chinese United Front. The only reason I don't want to fight them is because um, the J Japanese have been fighting them for so long, they'll have all the war score, which means the same thing that happened to Germany is going to happen to me. And I wouldn't be able to take much of anything out of them. And I certainly don't want to fight the Allies. So I think for the next, like, two or three videos, probably until, like, 1944, uh, we're not going to be fighting many more wars. We could try justifying on Iraq, and that would be a valuable thing for me to take. Where are your front lines? Oh, your front lines are here. I don't like this. So some of you are going to need to set up over here. Against all that. We'll just make sure we have these guys technically kind of bordered off. Dark blue. You, I guess, I will have a front line going... Down here. Interestingly enough, why can't I do this? I don't know. That's weird. Now, one thing that sucks about Romania existing, I'm not going to be able to, like, help them build forts. So they may collapse, and they could end up being a liability for me. That's another incentive for me to actually take out the Balkans quickly. If at all possible. Green, I guess I'll set up over here. That's as much as you can do, huh? Yeah, we need a lot of troops on these front lines. Red, where are you setting up? Oh, you're over there. Right, okay. Yellow. So we got a lot of troops sitting here that we don't need. Uh, all into the big army. Let's see. I want to make sure that we have these guys basically as purely defense. This will be another entrenchment army. That we end up using against uh, the Germans, primarily. Yeah, I don't need the garrison order anymore. Thank you, though. Alright, that's fine. You guys are going to front line against Bulgaria. Change your color so we don't get confused. Sure, I guess. That doesn't help. All right, whatever. 10 TP. Finally, we can start making medium tanks. We can also go ahead of time in these 1941 tanks. Actually, that's not ahead of time at all. Ah, darn. Our research bonus isn't going to quite coincide the way I wanted it to. It may be very hard to get to the 1945 tanks quickly. We'll see, though. Non-aggression pact? Nah. I wish there were other people who wanted to join my faction. Different ideology? Yeah. All right. Um, we could conceivably actually switch to free trade just to start getting rid of a lot of our excess resources. I'm holding on to a pretty good amount of oil right now. Some of which is being traded off to the fascists, which I don't like, but it does mean that when we eventually go to war with them, their source of oil is going to get cut off, which might be a problem for them. All right, let's see. Logistics wizard, fast planner, thorough planner. Expert delegator. Ooh. That may be his last trait, I don't know, but uh, the Field Marshal having two more armies that can be under his control means all these bonuses get onto two whole new armies. Oh That's God. awesome. Let's see. Um, I think I want you to be primarily defensive, so you're going to have entrenchment speed. You 
are offensive, so movement on land is fine, I guess. You don't need anything. Recovery rate is nice, reinforce rate is nice, thorough planner. Supply consumption reduced is also really nice. You also can have... You're a field marshal who can have extra delegation, too. That's the funny thing. I might want to make you a field marshal. I think I probably do, actually. Because I'm going to train up a whole bunch of new armies. You could be my offensive field marshal, and this other guy could be a defensive field marshal. He'll be in charge of all the defensive entrenching troops against the Germans and the Japanese. You'll be in charge of all the offensive troops against the Germans and the Japanese. That could be good. I'm going to hold off on that for now. It's not too bad. All right. Well, we have a lot of manpower. We are definitely building up pretty well on our equipment. I do need to be producing a lot more things like anti-tank. 8.73 per day. We have a lot more efficiency to go. I don't... Nope. Okay. Yeah. Cancel that justification. That didn't happen. All right. So I figured that the dem uh, democracy was going to... I figured they were going to do that. So Red, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Um, I guess we will set you up as another army to use against... Well, hang on. Japan, what's your relationship right now? You are improving relations, or Germany is improving relations with you. They're guaranteeing each other. So if I fight Japan or Germany, I guarantee I have to fight the other. And that's a sucky position to be in. Since we have some time... Now, do I want to kill Mongolia? That's the thing. If I don't... Well, if I do, it's a larger front line I have to maintain against the Japanese. If I don't do that, then they have to focus their troops in two areas, and that's actually a smaller front line, which might be to my advantage. What about Afghanistan? Maybe nobody cares about Afghanistan. I don't know. You're working on a nuclear effort? Fun. All right, let's try taking them, um, or maybe Iraq eventually. I'm going to start with Afghanistan, so if he does want to guarantee anybody, he wastes his time on this one. 200 days for this, huh? Ah, screw it. Let's just go ahead and start. If the Allies guarantee, then the Allies guarantee, and what can you do? They're not a high priority. It's more of just something to do while I'm sitting around and waiting for enough equipment to actually defeat the Germans. All right, so everything we've got has to be focused at this point. On the medium tanks. I need tons and tons of medium tanks. Alright, everything else, that's secondary. I'm going to go ahead and pull off a little bit of infantry equipment so we can go ahead and get started making these. We're already producing one per day with no efficiency at all. I do need a lot more tungsten to make this work, but that's fine. Uh, USA, buddy. You and me, man. I need to make you as strong as possible so you can successfully fight against the uh, Germans. Now, they often focus their attention on the Japanese instead. I don't know. 1944 is usually when you'll see an offensive from the Allies against the Germans. We may see that happen. We may not. The Germans are not going to be gaining much in power. They're not going to be conquering many more people from here on out. So, I don't know. Um, maybe they've kind of capped out a little bit and I can enjoy my power. We'll see. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.